Today is the day, it's the day you could finally go and pre-order that brand new iPhone 14 Pro. Now hold on, slow down. Before you go and purchase the iPhone 14 Pro, there might be a couple of reasons why you want to avoid it and some of these may be a deal breaker for some people. Let's go over five reasons why you should skip the iPhone 14 Pro. A huge feature a lot of people were hoping for on this year's iPhone 14 Pro was USB-C. There were a lot of rumors, some were stating that the iPhone 14 Pro would have USB-C but then later on we came to realize that that's probably not gonna happen. Personally speaking, while Lightning is just okay, USB-C would take the iPhone 14 Pro more in a pro direction. USB-C is ultra useful for multiple things like faster data transfer speeds, simplifying your cords, and connecting peripherals like connecting your camera directly to your phone to transfer photos. So when you're doing content or even just taking photos or videos and you want to transfer it to your computer, right now you don't have many options to easily do that. But yeah, if you're somebody that requires USB-C, you're going to want to skip the iPhone 14 Pro. Reason number two is no SIM card tray. A couple of months ago, I was with a small carrier here in Canada and they actually offered eSIM. So I used it and it was great, but then it was time to port out and that kind of messed me up. I was on hold with customer service for hours. Now that's just one problem, but if you really think about it, that's not gonna happen if I have a physical SIM tray. Some people have carriers that don't even support eSIM, so What's the plan there? But yeah, if you live in the US and you need a SIM card tray, don't even pick up the 14 Pro. Now, reason number three to avoid the iPhone 14 Pro is budget. The 14 Pro costs $9.99 minimum, and while I think it's worth it for me, a lot of people may think it's too expensive. If you look at the iPhone lineup, Apple offers some solid alternatives to the 14 Pro. This year, if you want a phone that's bigger than the standard iPhone 14, you can get the iPhone 14 Plus. If you're really on a budget and can handle a smaller phone, then you can look at the iPhone 13 mini. For that price, you can go and buy last year's standard iPhone 13, 512 gig version, and still save 100 bucks bucks to put towards something like Apple Care or any accessories for your phone. Time for reason number four, and that is the camera. So this phone here is the iPhone 13 Pro. One of the main features of the 13 Pro is the camera. It's got three camera bumps. So does the iPhone 14 Pro. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because like the 13 Pro, the 14 Pro is very camera oriented. What if you're not camera oriented? What if you don't really care too much about taking photos or videos or creating content? Then you probably don't need three camera bumps on your phone. If you look at other brands, mainly Samsung, I feel like their phones have features that you can actually really consider pro. The iPhone 14 Pro doesn't have those features. And since what makes this the iPhone 14 Pro a pro is mostly wrapped up in the camera, if that's not something that you care about, why would you buy the 14 Pro? If so, if you're not into using the phone to make TikTok dances or take a lot of photos with your phone, skip the iPhone 14 Pro. And the fifth reason, which is probably one of the most logical reasons, is if you have any of the recent phones. And by recent, I'm gonna define it as if your phone was like iPhone 11 or later, then these features are not really killer and absolutely necessary, especially if you have the iPhone 13, the iPhone 12, those phones are fairly recent. They look almost exactly like some of the newer iPhones in terms of design. Battery life on those phones are top notch. The displays are good as well. And yeah, again, I'm using the 13 Pro for a little. It's still a very solid phone. So what do you think? Let me know down below in the comments if you have any deal breakers with the iPhone 14 Pro or if you're still gonna purchase it today. Thanks so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe. Got a lot of videos coming soon, like a day in the life and an unboxing of the iPhone 14 Pro. Peace out.